You are watching TV9 News. We are back with another episode of Spartans Got Talent. That's right. Today we have two comedians fighting for the win. Who do you think is going to win? I don't know, they're both uh, both very good. Yeah, we've seen a lot of potential in both of them, so. We're really excited and we hope you are, so stay tuned for those two acts. Matt Hickey here, and I'm gonna make you laugh. Just sit back, relax, be ready. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can opener. You know, I'm finna tell you even funnier joke, you know, just sit back for real and let me do my thing. You know? Alright. Knock knock. Who's there? Daisy. Daisy who? Daisy me rolling. They hate it. Alright, well you did win the competition. How do you feel about that? Uh I feel good, you know. I thought the whole time I was gonna win the see my competition. We did hope you enjoyed your time on Spartans Got Talent today. Mm -hmm. we really did. There is another competition that is coming up on March 30th it's called the Kids Comedy Competition. Maddie, could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's held at the Menominee Nation Arena. The prizes are opening and performing for the Manitowoc Minutes, Charlie Burns this summer, and also coaching from other comedians. You will sign a contract with comedy booking agencies and an all expense paid trip to audition for America's Got Talent. You do need to be ages 5 to 17, March 30th. You would register at 1.30 p.m. and the audition would be at 2 p.m. and it is un it's free. It yeah, is? It's even Ooh, better, it's free. Join. I might have to join. As well with the rest of the student body, we hope to see you out at the Kids Comedy Competition on March 30th. Give it your best shot. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are today's announcements from the TV9 studio. On April 3rd, the Oshkosh Area School District is sponsoring an extern field trip to the Operating Engineers Field Engineers Local 139 Training Center. Operating Engineers are those men and women who you see carrying the heavy equipment such as cranes, excavators, bulldozers, earth movers, and backhoes. If you would like more information to go on this field trip, Contact Mr. Hammond in the tech department for more information and details. The externship brings a lot of excitement here to the training center. We've got wide-eyed high school students who are interested in the possibilities of coming into the skilled trades, of what options are available for them, and uh, you know, although it's heavy equipment operations, uh, we introduce them to the skilled trades as a whole. And you know what, some of them might become carpenters, some of them might become iron workers. Obviously, we'd like to see them all operating engineers, but uh, that's what brings the excitement to this center. This program is a unique way for us to really help young people explore the high tech demands of the operating engineers and all of the different opportunities that it presents. My grandpa really, he heard about this and he really wanted me to go because it, it said it's a fun experience to work with all the big machinery and they make you know good money, you know. And it was fun learning how the the controls work and everything like that. And then the hands-on experience was the best. I just like looking around, seeing all the different equipment you can learn on, like going outside and looking at all the cranes and like the skidsters and learning how, like where the people would do all the outdoor training. I really want to be an engineering student, but I think seeing this more, like I'm kind of torn now. Like I could either go sit in like classrooms and maybe do something, or I could come out and like be outside and do something that I like doing in the future. Right now we're just setting this up. You can kind of see that light. Look it up, do your research on it, because you know, it's a really good future to get into a really good career. It's exciting to see it happen. Uh, it's exciting to be a part of it, uh, to be here in this snapshot of time. The burden of the demand is being put upon centers like this, like myself, my team, and you know what? Nothing is more satisfying than meeting demands and meeting challenges.
Attention seniors, if you have not gotten in your senior baby photos, make sure you get it to room 235 by March 22nd. Hey Lillian, do you have your senior baby photo in? No. You should go do that right now. Other ways to do that besides turning into room 235 is you can either send it to this email right here or this email right here. Make sure you get it in by Friday, March 22nd, no later. That's red. Are you ready to present? My name is Wilonja, from original from Wakanda. I am North Wakanda forever. Oh, my name is Aline. I'm from Africa. I'm North. I like play soccer. Hello, my name is Tommy. I'm from North. My parents are from Laos, and I like rice. Um, my name is Blessing. I'm from Nigeria, Africa. Um, I love to play basketball. I am North. My name is Tuval and I'm from North. I'm Yave, I'm North. Hi, my name is Justice and I'm from North. <laughs> I am Salon and I'm North. Hi, my name is Ming, I am North. I am Nishi, I am North. I'm Shirin, I'm North. I'm Chris, I'm North. I am Ashley, I am North. Hi, my name is Anthony and I am North. Hi, I'm Miss Will. I am the media assistant here at North and I gone into education. I actually have a degree in family consumer science, but I got out of teaching teaching and moved into a library position at my former school that I was at in Missouri, which is the interesting fact. I have 15 years that I lived in Missouri and came back just recently to live in Wisconsin. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Niskovitz. I'm a new teacher here at North High. I teach business education, teach consumer finance, marketing, and accounting. I went into teaching because I love working with students and helping them to achieve their goals. And a fun interesting fact about me is I just learned out that I'm going to be having a little baby granddaughter in June. I already have two grandsons so I'm really excited. Have a great day. Thank you for watching TV9 News. Have a great day.